large hot pot, salted pies, vegetable moussaka, uh, milk and cream. Hot pot pies, moussaka, knock. Uh, Oh, Hi, Roy. Hey, I hope no one's seen me. Still got my pyjamas on under here, look. Oh. <laughs> Hi, a fashion or yeah, what? Yeah. Card for Hayley. Oh. Careful, it's still a bit wet. Hot off the presses. Yeah. So, look, Hope's done a little scribble. Ruby's handprints. Oh. Even Tyro managed an X. <laughs> Lovely. You look tired, Roy. Huh. Did you sleep? I dozed. Uh, 4 11 to 5 26. Roy! I'm sure Churchill slept less during the back of Britain. <sighs> What time are you off? Well, now. Okay, well, you know. I know. Come here. Oh, sorry, oh. Roy, have you. Uh, no, no, oh, no, it's, no, it's all right. It's all, it's all right. It's all right. I don't, I'll, I'll look up better uh, and thank you. No. Uh, will you give the key back to, to Anna? Yes, yes. No problems. Thank you. Hmm, you suit a shirt and tie, just like my dad. Some men can't carry uniforms, but you've got good jeans, you see. Hey, first day back, and who forgets their peekers? Mm, bless. Talk's the talk. What them kiddies needs is a woman's touch. Oh, is that gel? Yeah, I like it. You don't have to wait. Oh, you're all right, I want to. I'm fine. So you're looking forward to it, then? It's school. I do want to see my mates. Mm. Go. Well, she'll top my wages if I'm late again. Right. Don't be getting detention, will you? Not on your first day back, OK? Hey, hey. Still giving your mum the run around, are you? She looks worried sick. It's mum's, isn't it? <laughs> Mind you, you don't look too happy yourself. You're not still fretting about this fire malarkey, are you? Six weeks, mate, it's too long to dwell on things. Think what you've got ahead of you, though. Girls with tans, holiday snaps, jam roly-poly, jumpers for goalposts. As soon as that bell rings, mate, you'll forget about that horrible old pub. Hey, buddy. I hate to see you like this. What would it take to cheer you up? Apart from a date with Beyonce. I know. What is the name of that game you've been drooling over in Tracy's shop? Decimation... Uh... Decimation free? Yeah. Now then, what if I were to give you the cash to go and buy it? No way. There you go. Let's put a smile back on your face, hasn't it? Right. Off you get to school. Sinead! Fizz said she spoke to you. Have you got time for a coffee? Where is she? Katie, let me guess. You've had intel she'll be coming around that corner in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, your intel's rubbish. What are you going on about? Look. I'm not interested in playing games. Do you want to make your ex jealous? Go do it with someone else. You said it, my ex. I, I don't give a monkeys about Katie. Apart from being Jules' mum, I mean it. I saw you last night, doing your knight in shining armour act. Those lads would have battered you, by the way. I didn't step in to impress her. Good, because you didn't. I'd have done the same for any girl getting grief. Please, just ten minutes of your time. Why did I finish with her if I still care so much? Why haven't I begged her to move back in? I don't believe it. I tinker, lost for words, for the first time in her life. Why? Because she knows I'm right. Coffee. But I'm busy till five. Five it is, then. Roy's.
Mrs. Cropper? I've got bad news, I'm afraid. Not Roy? No. Mr. Pickman, the consultant. We had an emergency admission. He had to rearrange his list. I'm sorry. So I won't be going to theatre? Well, you'll still have your operation, but you probably won't be called till after lunch, which will feel like a long time when you're still nailed by my mouth. So sorry. 12A broke down on the partway. Every bus afterwards full. Tried to flag a taxi in a rush hour. It's taken forever. I should have saved you money. Get these. Go with these. Uh, no. But these go with these. And cost double I expect. Yes, but who can put a price on love and they are for Michelle, no? It's under the cost at the factory. No one begrudges Haley being off, but it means a lot of juggling around. Someone's still got to play bad cop, you know, crack the whip with the rest of the crew. Mm. And if she can help it, it sure won't be the boss, right? Mm. Or the boss's boyfriend. Oh, thank you. Uh, one more. Yes. Ten to eleven. Why don't you ring Anna? Tell her about the delay. I'll have to switch it on. Oh, two minutes. Nobody would know. Yeah, but if the lady in room three starts flatlining right. because of interference on her heart monitor... Point taken. Then we'll know. You're right, Roy, right, of course. Pay phone, then. There's one by the stairs. But then I'll have to leave you. For all the five minutes, I'll live. Wait till you go down to theatre. Plenty of time for phone calls, then. Hey, she's skiving off from the factory, he's skiving off from the garage. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, tongues will wag. Emergency K card. Yeah, an yeah. emergency bought you wrong. Good Any news? news? I asked first. Good news. Hmm? Yeah, well, that's what they say about no news, don't they? Oh. Never really believe that. No. No need to come to think of it. Well, anyway, there's your butter's yard. Thank you. We need a system. You know, like the white smoke when they pick a new pole? Yes, right. As soon as Roy rings, burn the toast. And waft it out the door. Oh, hey, nice one. Folks will come flocking. No, we'll probably just think Fizz is working here again. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> For heaven's sake, Roy, will you just read it? I swear you only bought it for yourself. I've no interest in needlepoint. I'm sorry. I know. I'm just... 10th of September, until Lorna's birthday. Can you get a pen, love? The post's pretty good to channel this for it, but send it three days early, just in case. Come on, bring a pen. We're not prepared. You've got to check up at the dentist Friday. I've not had a card. No, I've had a text. That's how they do it now. When you go, you must tell them that you'd prefer a call or a card for your reminder. Mendips. Wait, we're doing lots of fat. No, no, well, it's fresh in my mind. Mendips. Men, Mendips. First floor of the precincts, opposite Penbusters, is where I get your socks from, the ones with just enough give that don't rub your feet. I have enough socks until you're back on your feet. It might not be good news. And even if it is, I'm, I'm going to be laid up for a very long time. We, we need to get organised. Now, book club. You know how every month I read the book and take the book. We never talk about the book. We talk about Sandra Huddleston's husband. <laughs> Every month. But when it's my turn next to host, you won't crack on that you know. I won't. And you will still do literary nibbles. I will. Oh, hey, come on, cheer up. Look, here's a sight you won't see every day. Peter Barlow brewing up. Right, show of hands, please. Who's for tea? Coffee? Right, teas have it. Mm -hmm. Hey, you get it? Teas, eyes? Yeah? Oh, come on, you're a bunch of intellectual pygmies, you lot. You're hardly like Jeremy Faxman, are you? And, um, how comes there's one left here? Why, why is there a cream horn there? Oh, that's Haley's favourite. Oh. Flaming hell. She'd be fuming if she thought we're all sat here moping. Got to think pure thoughts, send out positive vibes, are you with me? Aye. Aye. Get it? Oh, got it. Mm. See, brothers and sisters, we are united at last. Come on, let's finish our tea and get your bums back on the seats. I am very sorry for this morning's delay. The nurse did explain it was an urgent operation. Yeah, it's quite all right, Doctor. <laughs> if there's any consolation, it was a complicated procedure, but the patient's now back on the ward and comfortable. You're on a roll, then? I certainly hope so. Very good. 
You understand what's involved in the Whipple's procedure? That, if the tumour allows, we'll be removing the head of the pancreas, the first part of your small bowel, the gallbladder, and part of the bile duct. Yeah, it's all been very well explained, thank you. We've read all the literature, and more. Excellent. 